Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video, as you can tell by the title and the unholy amount of yarn on my bed behind me, I am gonna be crocheting something. So I've been scrolling on Pinterest lately and there are just so many cute little like crochet items on there. And since I have so much yarn, I've just been accumulating so much yarn over these past few years. I've been crocheting for like two years. I have so much yarn now and I don't know what to do with it. So I thought it would be cool if I could go on Pinterest and try and like recreate some of the crochet items on there. So without further ado, let's just get to crocheting. <music> Okay, so the first thing I want to crochet is like this super cute bralette tank top kind of shirt. I'm just going to do it with just this yarn. It's like a pink multicolored one. And I actually got this at Walmart and it's so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by making a slip stitch and then chaining the length around half of my body. Okay, so I put on a tank top so you could see a little better, but I chained like a little more than half of my waist. I did that so you could still see like the laced up strings in the back. Y you'll see what I'm talking about. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a double crochet in every other chain, and then after I double crochet, I'm going to chain one. So you're gonna want to double crochet, chain one, and then you're gonna skip the next chain and go into the one after that and then repeat it for the entire length of the chain. So this is now what it looks like. For the rest of it, I'm just gonna do rows of half double crochet until I get to like the bra part. Basically, the part I'm gonna do is like this part. Seven hours later. All right guys, so I'm finished with this part of the top. So now all I have to do is just work on the cups for the top part of the shirt and then I will attach them. For the cups, I'm just gonna start by chaining 12. Next, I'm just gonna half double crochet a row. Now I'm just gonna do three half double crochets into this last chain here. Lastly, I'm just gonna half double crochet another row. Now I'm just gonna like turn it over and just keep repeating that over and over again until it's as big as I want it to be. Alright guys, so I finished the first cup. Now I just have to do the same exact thing again to do the second one. sewing the cups onto the bottom part here and then I also did a little border around both of the cups. All that's left to do is to just make the little straps and the part that will lace up the back. Alright guys, so the top is finally finished. It turned out so cute. I'm gonna go try it on right now. Alright guys, so the next thing I'm gonna be crocheting is this super cute bouquet of flowers. I have seen these everywhere on Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. They are very trendy right now and I think they're so cute and I've always wanted to make them. I think I'm gonna make them for my mom for Mother's Day. Even though Mother's Day is like kind of far out, I still want to give them to her for that. So hopefully my mom doesn't watch this video. 
But to start it off, I'm just gonna make the little circular center of the flower. And to do that, I'm just gonna start off by making a magic circle. And then I'm gonna chain 12 around the circle. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm just going to pull the circle tight and then I'm going to do a slip stitch in the first chain that I did. I have a little tiny circle, but I wanted to make the circle a little bigger so it has a bigger center. So to do that, I'm just going to half double crochet into each single crochet. Now that we have the center, I'm going to go around and make the petals. I'm just going to be using this white yarn. First, I'm just going to make a slip knot, just like that. Now, I'm just going to go into one of the half double crochets of the center and make a single crochet. Then, I'm going to do a double crochet into the next one. Then, into that same hole, you're just going to do a treble crochet. Then another double crochet into the same hole and then single crochet into the next one. So now I'm just going to repeat that all the way around the circle. Okay, so I finished the first flower and it's so cute. I'm going to make a bunch more of these but with like different colored petals. I think I'm going to do like purple, pink, blue, that kind of color scheme. So I made like seven more flowers. Now I'm gonna try and like make the little leaves that also go with the bouquet. I'm just gonna start off by chaining how long I want the leaf to be. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. So this is how long I made it. I think I chained maybe like 40 or 50, I don't even know, I lost count. But now I'm just gonna go back into the chain. I'm gonna do a single crochet. Then I'm going to do half double crochet. And then I'm going to do double crochet. Then I'm just going to repeat double crochet all the way down the chain. Okay, so now that I'm getting down to like the last two on the chain, I'm going to do a half double crochet. And then I'm gonna do a single crochet. So now I'm just gonna flip the project around and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so I've finished crocheting this leaf. Now I'm just gonna go crochet a couple more. Now I just have all these flowers and leaves. I really need to weave in all the ends and then I could get working on putting them on the stems. Well, for the stems, I don't, I couldn't really figure out what they did for them. They're like these thin little sticks and I didn't really know where to get those. So I just got like this pack of wooden dowels and I think I'm gonna paint them green to match with the leaves. And then I'm gonna hot glue the little flowers and the leaves onto the wooden dowels. guys so i finished the flowers and i think they turned out so cute just, like wrap them in tissue paper like stuff you use for presents just so it looks like an actual bouquet of flowers and i think it looks pretty good all right guys so the next thing i'm gonna crochet is this all white like beach cover-up thing it's like this mesh long sleeve top and it's so cute Okay, I have my yarn and to start I'm just gonna chain the length around my waist but I'm actually gonna make it like bigger than my waist so it is oversized. Okay. 
Okay, now that I'm done with the chain, I am going to just connect the ends together with a slip stitch. Now we have like this big loop thing and this is gonna be the bottom of the cover up. So for the entire top, it is gonna be like this mesh pattern. So to do that mesh pattern, I'm gonna do a double crochet into the first chain. And I'm gonna chain two, skip two of the chain, go into the third one and do another double crochet. And then I'm basically gonna keep repeating that for the entire sweater. So then it like starts to create this little mesh pattern. Many unbearable hours later. All right guys, so I finally finished the bottom part of the top and it took forever it took me like six episodes of x files just to get this part done it was rough but anyways the next thing i have to do is like the shoulder part i drew this little like pattern thing the part i did just now was this dark blue part and then the next part i'm gonna do is the green part like the shoulder part <laughs> so i am done with the shoulder parts it kind of looks like a little tank top right now now i just have to work on the sleeves and i'm gonna just crochet them from the the rest of it <laughs> So I finished crocheting the top and I think it looks so cute already. Now I'm just gonna go try it on. Alright guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys liked all the stuff I crocheted. I sure had a lot of fun filming this video and I'm really happy with how all of my crochet stuff turned out. I hope this gives you guys like some motivation to start crocheting if you don't already because you can literally make anything once you know just like the basic stitches. But anyways, if you guys made it this far into the video, please comment down below which thing I crocheted was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!